Hello and welcome. This is Nandini Hirani, and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Flooding in Mamalodi Centurion due to heavy rain. Residents of the Arrest Fabric, informal resident in Mamalodi in South Africa, were pleading for help after at least 700 shacks were destroyed by the major floods that hit parts of Gwitang on Monday. The informal settlement, which is situated along the banks of a river that flows through Mamalodi, felt the full brunt of the floods that have left many people homeless. The chaos is being felt across the whole of Shwen and its neighboring regions. As well as multiple road closures, entire buildings have been engulfed by rainwater. The area around the Centurion Hotel and Centurion Lake appeared to be underwater, according to photographs and videos shared on social media. Super Spot Park area has also been affected by the heavy rains. Motorists in the city have also been affected and have had to change routes due to flooded roads and low water bridges. Rescue teams were also seen at the Estes Fabrican informal settlement in Mamalodi where residents are standing on their roofs. Residents will be evacuated to Mamalodi Community Hall while the disaster management team works with other stakeholders to find an alternative shelter. In Johannesburg, EMS spokesperson said there were no major flooded areas where they had to evacuate people, although they were monitoring rivers in Medinand, Alexandra and Soweto. The South African Weather Service said on Monday that more rain was expected in the province later on Monday afternoon and into the evening. Several netizens confirmed the Air Force choppers were en route to Mamalodi to assist flood victims in the area. In widespread flooding across the country, flood victims at the Centurion Hotel had to be airlifted to safety and more than 700 informal dwellings in Mamalodi swept away. In addition, five initiatives were trapped in Bostel below Free State. Helicopters and boats had to be dispatched as the roads were inaccessibly by vehicle. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News, Nandini Hirani. For more news updates like these, please subscribe our channel.